Today I learned that frogs used to be fridges. I am being so serious. Way before refrigerators were even a thing, rural communities in Russia and Finland were struggling to find a way to keep milk from spoiling. The solution? Drop a live brown frog into the milk vessel. This was common practice from the 19th century through the 20th century, a traditional method of food preservation passed down from generation to generation. Because sure enough, people realized when they added a frog to their milk, the milk stayed fresh longer. They didn't know why, they just knew it worked. But then in 2012, a study led by Dr. Albert Lebedev from Moscow State University decided to finally investigate the seemingly magical properties of this frog. They found that the skin of the brown frog secretes this goo that is this cocktail of 76 different peptides, many of which have powerful antimicrobial properties that stop bacteria and fungal growth, preventing milk from going bad. These natural compounds were identified as Brevnin 1TB, which were effective at fighting off bad bacteria like Staphylococcus and Salmonella, essentially acting as a natural preservative. This makes sense because frogs don't have many natural defense systems. They don't have teeth, they don't have claws. So their only real defense system is their skin to protect them from predators, both large and microscopic. Since then, scientists have been working to see if they can develop a new line of antibiotics derived from frog skin, which would be incredibly useful if successful given the dire state stage of antibiotic resistance. This unusual tradition was actually the serendipitous moment of ingenuity, a natural remedy before we had the technological solution. If you like science worth sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at TIL Science.